So if we're looking at dividing an amount in a ratio, so I've got £40 and I'm going to split it up between two people, let's say person A and person B. Person A is going to get £2 every time person B gets £3. So I don't want to split it evenly, I want to give person B more money than person A, and I want to do it in this way. Every time person A gets £2, person B gets £3. Now some examples you might be able to work out uh, sort of more or less in your head. I'm going to show you this example with relatively simple numbers so that you've got a method for when the numbers get harder. Okay, so the way to think about it, person A gets, uh, think of these numbers as shares, right? Person A gets two shares every time person B gets three shares. So there are five shares in total. Now, I'm going to write this out with a little diagram. What I'd recommend is that if the, if the question is at all difficult, just draw the diagram out and it will help you picture it. If you really find it easy, um, I've had a lot of students who it's difficult to convince them it's a good idea to draw the diagram. Well, if you're getting the right answers, then I can't really knock that. But keep the diagram in mind. And if you're getting a question where the numbers are getting tricky and the question is getting tricky, then actually go back and draw the diagram. It might help you picture it and get the right answer. So A gets two shares every time B gets three shares. That's the ratio two to three. And I've drawn it out like that. So there are five shares in total. Now this £40 in this example gets split across these five shares. So that means that each share must be worth eight. The key is A and B, person A and person B, don't get the same amount, but each share is the same amount. So £40 gets split evenly between five shares, so that's eight pounds in each share. That means person A gets two lots of eight, which is 16 pounds. Person B gets three lots of eight, which is 24 pounds. Let's check our answer. 16 and 24 add up to 40. And if I put them in a ratio, 16 to 24, and cancel that ratio down, divide by eight on this side, divide by eight on this side, I'd have two to three. So it is the ratio two to three, and we have taken our 40 pounds and split it up. Don't make the mistake that some people do of finding this, writing the answer as 16 pounds to 24 pounds, and then canceling the ratio down and ending up back with two to three. That won't uh, get you the marks. The answers that we're looking for is A gets 16 pounds, and B gets 24 pounds. Now I should say, these questions sometimes come disguised. So for example, I've seen uh, a question where it says, uh, we have an amount of something or other, I don't know, an um, um, amount of sweets, and they get split between person A and person B in the ratio three to four. What percentage does person A get? Okay, so it doesn't tell us our amount. Well, if we're looking at percentages though, I've got 100% to be split between Three and, uh, a and B in the ratio three to four. So there's a basic technique here, but you can be presented in all sorts of ways. So I would draw one, two, three, one, two, three, four for A and B. 100% gets divided by seven, 100 divided by seven. The answer is how much goes in each box. And hopefully you can work that out from there. But just a note to remind you, not every question is gonna look as straightforward as this. Read the question, think about it, and you might find that this is the technique you need.